It's a growing business model. I'm your Gretna Neighborhood Reporter John Brown at Swing 365 Golf, where this business only uses subscriptions. And I'm looking into who is benefiting from this and why businesses are choosing subscriptions. You can golf whenever you please. That's the motto at Swing 365 Golf in Gretna, the new business offering around-the-clock golf simulator access for a subscription fee. We uh, thought the opportunity was uh, available to get into the community to offer some services that are even 24-7. Golfers like John Schutz pay a monthly fee to get full access whenever to the golf simulator. I just like the ability to come in here, take an hour or a half hour, and just work on what I want to work on. Over in Millard, it's the same. At Cloud9 Billiards Club, the new pool hall offers unlimited access to pool tables for its subscribers. I am 100% positive it will work. Uh, we've been working on this since last summer. Owner Tommy LoCarbo is confident this model will work in Omaha after seeing it take off in other cities, as players prove they're willing to pay to play on their schedule. Because at 4 o'clock in the morning, if I wake up and can't sleep, I'll come down here, I'll play, I'll get some time in either by myself or with somebody else. This is a fast-growing business model, and according to the business research company, the market size is expected to reach over $900 billion by 2026. University of Nebraska Omaha business professor Brent Clark says the subscription-based model benefits businesses if it's used correctly. From the company's perspective, they're always pretty comfortable with this idea that they own it and the consumer doesn't own it. And so if they can get away with it because of those benefits, uh, they're probably going to go for it and they're going to like that model pretty well. Clark says he only expects the model to grow further and spread to different industries. For LaCarbo, it's a chance to grow his business and use a growing model. This is my passion. Pool is my passion. Near Highway 370 and I-80, I'm John Brown, your Gretna Neighborhood Reporter.